Hello and welcome to this third in a series of instructional videos about the ease of access environment in Windows 10. Now the ease of access environment is a place where we can make some alterations as to how we interact with the operating system and some of its apps. So for example if we have a hearing or sight or physical impairment or disability this is going to be where we're going to make most of those changes. In this third one we're going to be looking at the magnification and the different options that we have with that. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, like it and also hit the notification icon bell to be notified of any further updates and please don't forget to subscribe. So without further ado let's have a look. Okay, so we're looking at the magnifier in the ease of access in Windows 10. Something I forgot to mention in all the other videos is that ease of access is also available in Windows 8 and 7. They may be in slightly different locations, but they will have it. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the mouse pointer down to start in the bottom left. And as we leave the mouse over that, it see that it says start as we hover the mouse over that so we're going to left click that everything's a left click by the way unless i say otherwise now above that we're going to see something that looks like a cog and again if you hover the mouse pointer over that it's going to say settings left click that now we're in the windows settings environment this is where we can make changes to a whole host of things but in this case we're going to be making the changes to the ease of access. So let's click that. We've already talked about display in another video as well as cursor and pointer in another video. If you missed those, go and have a look at those. I'm going to click magnifier. Now we can turn the magnifier on and off from this environment or alternatively make a note, get a notepad and you can write these keys down underneath where it says turn on magnifier it tells you what keys you can press to turn the magnifier on and off in this case it's going to be the window key and the plus to turn the magnifier on and if we press the window key and the plus again that would increase the magnification do that again again you would increase the magnification yet again if we press the window key and escape that would close the magnifier now you'll notice down below that it says make everything on my computer bigger we've already discussed that in a previous video change the zoom level so at the moment it says 175 percent that's because it remembers the last zoom setting you used when you closed the magnifier so let's just bring that back down to 100 which is the default 100 doesn't mean it's going to be magnified by 100 percent it just means that you're back to the default settings as you can see on the screen now below that change the zoom increments now when you see this it's going to be set on a 100 percent jumps which is the default so when you press the plus it jumps up to 200 press that again jumps up to 300 and so forth now I'm going to leave this on 200 for now but when I'm using this I like to use it at the 25% because it gives me more control over what I'm looking at and I'll show you why now so let's turn the magnifier on now this is in the full screen mode you'll notice that as I move the mouse pointer around the screen moves around too and the mouse there we go so that's what we have here so this is at 200 percent zoom level let's click up to 300 you see how it becomes suddenly blocky 400 and so forth so let's bring that back down to 100 change this to 25 which is my preferred and you'll see that automatically you get much more control 
so you can be more precise as to how you want it. Again, as I say, you could use the, the Windows key. So I'm going to hold the window key down. I'm going to press plus, press plus again, press plus again, press plus again, press the minus, press the minus, press the minus, press the minus, press the plus, press the plus. Now I'm going to, escape, going to close this by pressing escape. All the time I was holding down the Windows key whilst doing that. OK, so now we've looked at that. Down below here we have Start Magnify After Sign In. If you're somebody who uses the magnifying feature regularly, this is where you're, you're going to want to turn this on so you don't have to come here each time. Play around with these settings at your heart's content. But I do suggest before you make any alterations to any settings in any environment on a computer, write down what they are before you make a change. That way, if you forget, you know what to go back to. And if you can't do it yourself to go back to, you can show it to somebody else and they would know what happened. Down below this, we have Change Magnifier View. Now, so far we've been in full screen. Now we're going to be looking at the lens which is probably one of the most popular things instead of the full screen. Let's turn this on. I'm going to press the window key and the plus. And you'll notice that I've now got the magnifier as though we're holding a magnifying glass and moving it around the page. Down below where it says lens, we can change the shape of that if we want to. So let's drag this, click and drag this up. Now you can do this without the lens being turned on to make life easier for yourself. So let's just turn that off. And you'll notice that I can change the shape of this if I want to. So let's just change that. Let's turn that back on again. And you'll notice that the lens has now changed its shape. Let's turn this off again. And you'll notice where it says lens, it says Control plus Alt plus L. Again, you can write these down. So we've looked at full screen, we've looked at lens. Now let's look at docked. Let's turn the magnifier view back on again. You'll notice that the magnifier is now docked at the top of the screen and the page has now been pushed further down. As I move the mouse around, we're now looking at what's on the screen. So there are your options there. Now this doesn't just stay in the magnifier view. If I was to come on to, let's just minimize this. If I'm on the desktop, you'll see it works equally well on the desktop. If I have a document open, There we go. So if you had a document open, you wouldn't need to increase the size of the text by going to format. You can just start the magnifier if you wish instead. So let's come out of the magnifier. Let's close that down. Let's shut this notepad down. So there you go. Again, the keys that you need to press are written underneath that. Then we have enable magnifier to follow the mouse cursor to keyboard focus, text insertion point, and narrator cursor. Now the text insertion point is if you had a document and you was perhaps using full screen, so let's go to full screen mode, and we had this document open, and let's just type a load of gibberish, and you also had this document on maximum, taking up the entire screen, and we had the magnifier on, we don't know where the, where the text has gone, where, where the cursor is. As soon as you press a, a, a letter or a number or whatever, it's immediately going to jump us to where the cursor is. So let's close that down. Now you can play around with these settings at your heart's content. Again, just write down what they was before you'd make the change. And that's the magnifier. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching.